hello and welcome to my channel so as a part of that above restful application programming model in the last two videos i already described about that programming model and i also make you understand that what is the programming model what is the cap and what is the rep and i also uh, described what is the difference between the cap and rep what is the common things and what the skill set is required for that after that i uh, described under the hood of the cap and rep different feature and what is the flow and what is the common things so those things are the basic things so whatever you do um, you need to know that basic things I, I can directly go to that code but I think that is the basic things and you had you need to know otherwise it will be difficult when you start the code or when you face any problem so before starting the rep so first let's check the definition as per standard recipe so as per standard recipe um, the rep defines the architecture for efficient end-to-end -end development of SAP HANA optimized UDATA services in above cloud. So from here you can see basically that is the architecture. This architecture is for efficient end-to-end -end development. The end-to-end -end developments means that it support everything, insert, update, deletes and it, it is also support the integrations with third party applications or other applications so that is the reason it's the end-to-end -end development and that is the efficient way of sap hana optimized so hana optimized means that we can get the full advantage of that uh, core to data paradigms what is called the in-memory database so that is the reason we don't need to worry about the performance so whole things actually is defined that is basically architecture so if any programmer follow that architecture he don't need to think about that performance so earlier uh, the developer also need to know that how they they, they should write the code what need to do and after completing that project how it will be integrated with the other systems so now they don't need to think anything they need to just follow that architecture or that model and they will develop that application and this model or rep programming model will take care of everything so that is the huge advantage so now as it is architecture let's talk about that architecture because that is actually the architecture okay so i have collected this picture from sap website you probably have seen already and it is called the big picture but actually that is the architecture so now you can see there is the ever breastful programming model that means that that is the that is the things or that is the model for ABAPR. So now here uh, this architecture is divided into three layer. The first layer is the data modeling and behavior. Second layer basically the service and third layer is the service consumption. So main thing is that data modeling means that that is the cds view so whatever you want to do you must need to know the cds because cds is the fundamental thing here without knowing cds you cannot do anything with that rep so i would highly recommend you that if you don't know the cds first you have to learn the cds and after that you should start this course okay so now you can see that is the first model the data modeling from here you can create a cds view and any other things and after that you have to create a service and this service you will um, 
consume from any Fury applications and web applications because the Fury application only know that service so in data layer you have to prepare that modeling and you have to prepare the service and finally it will just use so basically that is the very simple OA what is the architecture so now let's go in details so first layer you can see basically there are two things one is the data modeling here another is the behavior what is that so here that is the two part on is the business objects another is the queries so here query means that if you want to develop any applications without doing any transactional data for example insert update delete or whatever it is if your requirement is only develop a report then you can just follow that queries i mean that you can just create a cds view and after that uh, this cds from that cds view so that is the meta data modeling means that you can just create a cds view from cds view we can just prepare a service and you can consume that service but if your requirement is a transactional data that means that insert update delete then you must have to follow the business object this model or this behavior set so now you need to know that what is the business objects so basically in the next video i will talk about the details of the business models because that is very important so now you just need to know the business object means that in the real things like for example in a pew that is the business object in the sales order that is a business object so now that is the serious data modeling you can see that is the data modeling here it is a common here and here so that means it just a data modeling with the cds and second on is the bdf or behavior definition what is that behavior definition means that what action you want to do with that business object for example if you think that one sales order is your business object then this sales order may require like insert may need update or edit or delete those definition or those action are called behavior definition so behavior definition of that business object means that if you want to uh, edit a existing sales so that that means that that uh, behavior definition is the edit if you want to delete existing uh, sales order that is also called like um, delete behavior definition is delete if you want to create new one that is the behavior definition is the insert and that other thing is the above behavior implementation what is that behavior implementation means that if you here in the definition you can just define that is the update it means that you can just enable that it is the update and here you can say okay that is the delete so those things are the behavior definition but in the above as above part you have to write code like it can be uh, if it is the edit then you have to use some logic in the above class this logic will implement so technically basically that is the above class so if I say again that it is a uh, business object is just a sales order purchase order or whatever it is now you think that is the sales order is a behavior object a business objects and the behavior definition is that what you want to do what action you want to take with that business object that is called that behavior definition so if you define any behavior definition you need to implement implement that action so you need to apply some logic and you need to apply some code as above code in the class that is called the behavior implementation 
and second part is the business object projection you can see that is the cds modeling the projection view that basically that is the cds view so for example in that layer you may have that many cds view but in the projects in that your application you may not allow that all um views for example here you uh, create like um 100 view but in this project should not call that 100 view because it will impact that uh, performance so, so that is the reason this projection means that which things or what you want to project the same way you may have that uh, behavior definition like insert update delete but you want to project only the insert and the same way if you want to be a bit implementation that you want to just project here the same way so that is the reason cds pdf and above is the same and another thing is the service definition define the scope so whatever the cds view you have at the end you have to create the service why you need to create the service because few application don't know that cds view whatever it is the behavior it, it don't know nothing but it know only the udata service or the service so that's the reason whatever you do here you have to um, develop or create a service this service step is the called service definitions or the scope of the exposed exposed means that you need to expose this service to that ui level and another thing that is also new that is the service binding what is that so earlier um who are already working on that cds view or the udata service they need to know that after preparing that service they need to go to that um, sap gui in that sap gui they need to navigate to the gateway service and after that actually they need to release that service so still there was a dependency on that sap gui but other things you completed everything the entity but here actually you can see that still you have dependency on that entity service so that is the reason this t they also converted and implement that service bindings in that entity level so that means that now you don't need to do you need to go to the above gui you in that ever entity you can release the service as same as that gateway so that is the reason that is called that service binding and finally that is the the um, consumption actually who want to consume your service so for example if it is the fury then the fury uh, consumption and if it is the web or third party application anyone can actually consume your service because your service is released for the uh, public so and it is released through the service data binding so basically that's the things and that is the main architecture of that and um, that is also the big picture so now let's talk about that um, business object in details in the next video thank you